Hello, my name is Tomohiro Fukuda, Osaka University of Japan. I'm here today to speak about our new method, which is referred to a motion vector visualization method on a virtual reality screen, preventing virtual reality sickness for architectural investigation. Let's begin. Introduction. Creating virtual reality contents by using BIM and game engine become popular for visualization, simulation, and communication among stakeholders. However, VR sickness is occurring with the increased use of VR. When a VR user presents along a predetermined walkthrough path, audiences are forced to be presented. The severity of VR sickness varies depending on the velocity and direction of the movement in the VR space. Guidelines have been developed to present, prevent VR sickness, but the VR camera settings depends on the experience of VR creators. To prevent VR sickness and ensure the quality of VR content, functions are necessary to assess movement in VR space during the production process. We developed the rendering method for absolute velocity of the virtual camera using a customized segmentation rendering. The amount of movement of object close to the camera is large and that of the distance object is small as for the video shows. Then the only absolute velocity are insufficient to assess VR sickness. Relative velocity on the screen is known as a motion vector. Then the objective of this research is to develop a visualization method of a virtual camera motion vector using a rendering technique. This feature will enable creators to assess whether in a virtual scene VR sickness is likely to occur. Proposed method. Motion vector represents the motion from the frame of reference. The value corresponds to the viewing angle velocity. When the depth from the camera to an object differs, objects far away from the camera do not move so much, and objects near the camera move greatly. This figure shows the general rendering processing flow. The VR development platform is able to implement pre-processing and post-processing rendering, both as a for, or for a particular theme. It can also define variable values to be delivered to the shader when rendering objects, which can be used on the shader processing side. This figure shows the process, proposed processing flow of a customized rendering that overlays a color on the screen according to motion vector values. The developed shader calculation process is proce processed in the plugin when processing object drawing in the main unit. In the detailed shader calculation process, the position on the screen calculated, the relative velocity on the screen, and then output the, to the frame buffer as a texture based on the calculated relative velocity. As for the gradient display, by blending RGB color space with the original drawing by monochrome, the motion vector is visualized on the screen. As for the motion vector, a motion blur, Multiple images generated at nearby time frames are combined to represent motion blur. The shader program is implemented in the OpenGL shading language and can be customized by the user. Experiment. We evaluated the prototype system by applying it to the building design project for a VR application. The new building complex is plan to have multiple administrators for different functions, including citizens. It is not easy to understand the whole design using perspectives from limited viewpoints. Then VR was created to review the design, to discover any problems, and to discuss the solutions. We assessed the amount of change in the function vector of the VR camera as a path of the VR walkthrough to help prevent VR sickness. This is the graduate result. Architectural VR requires detailed camera work. For example, when turning down a corridor, the speed of the VR budget camera needs 
to be carefully monitored to avoid via sickness. As you see, the entrance space of a library has a circular shape. Then we assess the amount of change in the motion vector as the path of the VR walkthrough in the library moved through a cor curved corridor to help prevent VR sickness. This is the motion blur result. When going up and down the stairs, the speed of the VR virtual camera needs to be carefully assessed to avoid VR sickness. As for performance, motion blur causes a slight drop in FPS frame per second because of time it takes to combine multiple images. Here are typical VR screenshot. The top rows are the normal rendering, middle show motion blur effect, and the bottom show RGB gradient. Conclusion. We developed motion vector visualization method on a VR screen by customizing rendering technique and apply to a VR application in a building complex project. The rendering results could be observed in VR software successfully. Using the function developed in this research, the camera path was improved by inspecting the camera path set by the VR creator before the presentation. In the future, the methods should be validated based on actual scenarios in architectural design. Finally, we would like to show the acknowledgement. Thank you for your listening.